Assalamu alaikum and welcome back viewers. I am back again with a new video. In this video I will be taking you to Gar Ahira which is situated on mountain known as Noor, Jabal Noor. This is the map. Here is Haram, Kaaba and here is Jabal Noor. From Haram it is around 15 kilometers and if you are coming by car it might take you around 15 minutes to reach Jabal Noor. Taxi driver dropped me at the junction. From there I started my journey. I started climbing. As you can see these adobe houses. Actually these houses belong to Rohingya people from Burma or Myanmar and they are staying from very very long time. Taxi driver or your car can come till this point. Actually I made mistakes. I would have saved lot of energy and lot of time if the taxi driver would drop me here. Now my actual journey begins. I started trekking this mountain as you can see there there are stairs here uh, they have developed the stairs to climb the mountain which is very good climbing is very exhausting you can hear how heavily i am breathing and here is my real voice yeah i climbed here around nine years before i need to take rest time by time This is a checkpoint, resting station. I climbed this mountain nine years ago and uh, at that time area was fully rocky and it was very difficult to climb. Usually this mountain is very crowded. Now at present there is corona restriction going on in Makkah. That's the reason you are seeing very few people. I got a clip of this mountain, how it was nine years before. Just have a look. You can see the difference how it was and how it is at present. So this is Jabal Noor, 9 years before. There are no developed stairs and you can see the mountain is fully rocky and people find it very difficult to climb that time. So this is present Jabal Noor. Just see the difference between the old mountain and the present mountain. Actually you can find a lot of difference. Now I will show you a brief history about this mountain and its significance. Prophet Muhammad at some part of his life wants to be lonely and away from the people. And very often Rasulullah used to climb this mountain and visit the cave known as Gar Ehera. Imagine how difficulties Rasulullah has faced that time because there was no stairs, no any facility to climb this mountain. So this was regular practice of Rasulullah. He used to come here and he used to go in the cave and he used to worship there for very very long hours. Usually he used to worship till his food supplies uh, got finished or he wished to return back to his home. Till that time he used to worship uh, continuously day and night. At one instant when Rasulullah was in the cave and he was worshipping suddenly from nowhere a man comes to Rasulullah in the cave. Actually that man was Jibreel he came in the shape of man by the command of Allah. Then Jibreel showed some script to Rasulullah then he said Iqra, Iqra means read. Then Rasulullah said I am an illiterate man I don't know to read. Then Jibreel held Rasulullah in his hands and he started pressing Rasulullah. Then again angel Jibreel said Rasulullah Iqra. And again this time Rasulullah said, I am an illiterate man, I cannot read. Then again Angel Jibreel held Rasulullah in his hands and then started pressing again. Then he asked Rasulullah to read Iqra. Then again Rasulullah for third time he said, I cannot read. And then again for the fourth time Jibreel held Rasulullah. At this time Jibreel held Rasulullah and he pressed with extra force. So the force was such that Rasulullah said that it was uh, such a force that actually I was feeling 
totally dizzy and I was about to collapse. Then Jibreel alayhi salam released the pressure from Rasulullah and the following verses of Quran he recited. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Iqra' bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq Khalaq al-insana min alaq Iqra' wa rabbuka al-akram Alladhi allama bil-qalam Allama al-insana ma lam ya'lam Kalla inna al-insana la yatuwa Arra'a hustawna Inna ila rabbika arruja'a أرأيت الذي ينهى عبدا إذا صلى أرأيت إن كان على الهدى أو أمر بالتقوى أرأيت إن كذب وتولى ألم يعلم بأن الله يرى كلا لئن لم ينته لنسفعا بالناصية ناصية كاذبة خاطئة فليد ناديه سندع الزبانية كلا لا تطعه واسجد واقترب Once Jibreel alayhi salam uh, completed these verses and Rasulullah salam was uh, totally panicked and he was worried then suddenly he started uh, descending this mountain from there he went to his home and asked his wife Khatija radiyallahu anhu to cover me in a blanket cover me in a blanket then as the time passed Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam fear was also also decreased then he shared complete story with his wife Khatija radiyallahu ta'ala anhu then Rasulullah said to his wife that now he is fearing for his life Khatija radiyallahu ta'ala anhu replied to Rasulullah O Rasulullah do not fear Allah will never ever disappoint you don't fear ya Rasulullah so this was a brief history about this place and uh, about this cave Hopefully I have not made a mistake while letting you know this short description may if I have made mistake may Allah forgive me So now coming back to the video now I reached the top most portion of the mountain so the total elevation uh, from the starting point to this point is around 650 meter which is more than half a kilometer So you can see at the far distance this is the clock tower this is just beside uh, the Kaaba Masjid Al Haram and it is the second largest tower in the world after Burj Al Khalifa and now finally the cave the cave Ghar e Hira is visible from here few people are already in the cave so let's go in the cave to reach that cave again from the topmost portion of the mountain we have to get down around 10 to 15 meters then uh, there is an access let's go there So Ghari Hira is on the other side of this rocky scattered area. Actually there is very narrow space to go through it. This is the one and only way to reach Ghari Hira. So let's go in there. The passage is very narrow and we have to watch our head and the place is very scary also. Just be careful. So finally Alhamdulillah I reached to the cave and as you can see few people are already in here and they are worshipping. Actually this place is hugely crowded and uh, 
during the time of hajj or normal time of ramadan this place doesn't have even place to stand uh, it is heavily crowded this is an old video you can see how people are crowded and with they are trying to worship inside the cave as you can see in the video how heavily crowded it is the space in the cave is only for two people stand at a time and you can see how heavily it is crowded and uh, there is any space left even to stand outside the cave you can see the difference between old cave and new cave new cave is completely different they have demolished everything whatever they have painted upside and uh, the floor what they made with the tiles everything they have demolished saudi authorities believe that this place doesn't have any significance or there is any extra reward so that people should come and worship here and also to come at this place it's uh, not easy you need to take a lot of risk and come to this place so any accident might happen so that's why authorities don't want people to come here but that is the prospective of saudi authorities for other people this place is very significant and has a lot of value because prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam visited this place so when you are in the cave just imagine rasulullah also came in this cave and he used to uh, worship in this cave and you are sitting in that cave so the feelings are totally out of the world so even i went there inside sat there for few minutes and prayed to rakat nafil salah then i made dua then i came outside So about my journey climbing the mountain of 650 meter height that to an rocky area it's not so easy here are my few suggestions which you should take care before climbing this mountain try to climb this mountain when you are totally fit and you doesn't have any heart issues or any health related issues don't attempt to climb this mountain along with children or infants they will give you extra trouble and third and final suggestion Don't overeat before climbing this mountain. Eat lightly and take extra water along with you. So, alhamdulillah, I went in the cave. Now I came outside. Now I started descending the cave. Descending the mountain is much easier than compared to climbing the mountain. but still you have to be careful because the stairs are narrow and uneven there is chance of slipping also so you need to be careful just i found this elephant type of uh, structured mountain you see it's looking it's resembling elephant and even on this elephant some people they did not love this place also they have written their names so let's move further down you can see the stairs or the path to get down from the mountain this is the beautiful makka city so finally i reached the starting point where i started my trekking alhamdulillah my total journey time was about 1 hour I started from this point climb the mountain prayed in Ghar Hira and came back it took me 1 hour this is a total summary of my journey i got this in google health app as you can see the total time is about 59 minutes and the distance covered going up and coming down it's around 2.25 km and highest elevation is about 630 meters which is more than half a kilometer So that's it guys I will end my video over here so this was my complete journey I hope you have enjoyed and got some valuable information regarding Ghar Hira so if you are coming for Hajj and Umrah and you have enough time in Makkah 
definitely you should come here and climb this mountain so that's it now uh, please watch my other videos also and like this video and subscribe to my channel thank you